Hey guys, welcome back to Carrie's Marie TV. Today's video is a chit chat, get ready with me, or a procrastinate with me, as I've called it before. I'm just getting ready for like a simple chill day in the library. I usually don't wear makeup, but to keep content and to talk to you guys a bit, talk about dissertation, my degree, concerns after graduation, lots of things I talk about. You know, I tell you to sit down. If you want someone to procrastinate with, you have assignments you need to be doing, but you don't want to do them right yet, sit down, watch this video, relax do less god bless um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah let's get straight into it i will say right now the products that i took out to use today aren't very like drugstore or affordable entirely it's just that they might seem a bit extra but the finished look will be quite natural very school slash work appropriate or what i think it'll be for right now yeah i think it'll be so if i'm using a lot of products or maybe more high-end products i'm just trying to use to my collection i've been mentioning that throughout my channel like i don't like just having makeup and not really using it hence why i'm even putting on makeup today i don't have class today i'm just going to the library to work on my dissertation spend about maybe five or six hours there just do that so i'm just gonna put on a little face right now my nail polish this is the essence nail polish in the shade 05 legendary in case you care um so yeah that's what i'm going to do and yeah like i say a simple face nothing too dramatic but i'm using like some maybe a little extra products for you but oh sorry i don't want to block can you see my arm fat i'm chunky um yeah, okay i'm gonna take my hair out of my face i know i look all like whatever but yeah i have black hair again i mean my hair is black but yeah, yeah so I don't really wear makeup to school, like I say, but if I, I mean, I would if I, like, if, if I didn't, like, sleep that much, I would. And the thing is, my schedule this semester actually would allow me to wear makeup a lot more often. It's just that I like sleep too much. I really just like sleep too much. And that's my eyebrow done. I ain't doing nothing else to my brow. It's just because yeah i don't really have to do much with my brows like the key to having to taking less time on your brows and doing good with your brows is to have eyebrows like to, you know you, you don't have to make hair like strokes when you actually have hair in your eyebrow like i mean i know it sounds ridiculous but it's true so school has been very interesting i have about three months left match just started so match april may and all of my my assignments will be handed in by then and then i'm done and then graduations in july so time is really winding down and i don't really think it it's like kicked in like how little time i have left at university i think i'm done with this this bro i don't think i want to do anything else with like, it. i have so much work to do i absolutely love my dissertation topic i it's it's exact it's perfect for what i want to do it encompasses cultural studies with race studies as well as film study and critique which is which is just perfect for me i i could spend every day all day working on it and perfecting it the theories and everything that i'm creating is amazing for me but it's a lot of work and dissertation is the only thing you're doing you also have to do like um other assignments for other classes essays group projects the same way so it's a little much i'm doing some moisturizer i'm gonna clean up my brow I'll say no, let's leave it. I read I rarely ever not clean up my brow. I'm just taking a little bit of the milk hydro grip because for all my smile lines specifically, that's where like makeup breaks up on me. So I had to put stuff there so to avoid like my lines really like showing the most specifically because I've been using a lot of hydrating foundations lately and more hydrating products tend to settle in those areas for me. And I'm just taking the exercise put out into my like my forehead and around my nose yeah but dissertation is like i enjoy the process um my supervisor is she's amazing like very easy to talk to very understanding um like for me i don't think i'm as far ahead as like the other students that she's coaching or mentoring but she doesn't make me feel like i'm behind and she encourages my like my dish like she's even trying to like convince me to do a phd and at first i was like i might do a master's and that's it but now i'm actually considering maybe a phd would be would be good because i really think this topic could i feel like it could you know 
it could ruffle a little feathers a little bit it has it i just love it so much um so i really get why people are really big on the dissertation but outside of that i still have group assignments and i'm waiting for grades to get i should be getting grades back today actually what time is it it's like 11 or 12 yeah i gotta be out of here by two so i can at least spend like seven hours at the library i'm using the l'oreal foundation so i my second time using it since i first tried it and i really like the way it went um oh snapicles i wanted to like color correct or try color correcting i was gonna try to color correct because i always had this dark patch right here and these like coverage foundations or the type of foundation that i really go for don't really do much for those areas and when i put on bronzer it starts to look muddy or choppy over there because not because the man the bronzer itself is brown is muddy but because you can see those dark spots peeking through which is just unfortunate but it is part of life i guess i don't know like three years ago i saw snapchat from like three years ago and they warned it so it's racist basically um, but yeah um as for university i don't i'm still at that place where it's like i don't want university to end because i don't know what i'm gonna do after university in all honesty like i was gonna do my masters one time but my parents and I discussed that maybe I should take a year off. I'm like, you know what? Y'all yeah, right. I probably should take a year off. But it's just that, like, what am I gonna do when I go back home? Cause obviously I'll have to move back to the UK. I mean, to Tatula, my island. And what am I gonna do? Like, I studied something that obviously there are people doing it at home, or like there's a feel for it, kinda. But the feel isn't. I don't know if serious or taken seriously in the right is the right word like PR I like I study media communication and culture and media communications and cultural studies is a mixture of um of like communication studies will encompass things like PR marketing um professional communications basically journalism all that stuff conflict and crisis reporting I have done all of that and then the like cultural side comes from things like analyzing or representation studies, race and culture and identity, um, representations, um, society, media, has to look at like television and analyze those things. And I've had some like practical courses as well, so, like how to like edit a podcast or edit um, radio footage, how to do interviews and those kinds of things. So it's there's space for it, yeah, because I feel like media studies is something that's kind of needed everywhere it don't look that bad there today and i probably because i i really packed it on there but yeah so i i'm gonna see um i have to work on building my cv but i've been so concerned with dissertation i'm like that's something in the future but when may and april comes and actually actually when may comes and i've finished i'll work on my cv then i mean i'm heading home in july and we gonna gotta see i want gonna do concealer concealer today i'm using the um essence camouflage concealer again a product that i haven't really picked up since i um did the makeup testing video the drugstore testing video a very natural concealer as you will see as i blend it out but it really about being bright and snatched i don't really like being bright and snatched anyway so i ain't really care about that but yeah so yeah, school is okay, I guess. I don't know. I don't have friends like that. Actually, I can't say I don't have friends. I just have a very... I don't even have a handful of friends. Because a handful is like more than five. And... I thought it would be two. Two and a half. And I say half because the only friend... The other friend, like, basically counts because, like, a friend by association of the one friend I kind of do have. You know, I feel it funny because I didn't, like, clean up my bra. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, so... I don't really have much friends like that. I spend a lot of time at home. Um, I didn't really think I was a homebody until I come up here and I'm just like, I don't like anyone. I just want to be by myself. Uh, it's a problem. But it's okay. It's just who I am. I don't really go out much at home anyway. Much just go up here in the foreign. Negative. If you feel like I'm talking a bit more raw, if you see my other videos and you're like, what's really going on? I just... Or maybe this is your first video and you're just like eh but i'm just trying i feel like people often comment or tell me that i yank or i sound american 
and it's just like I don't because to me this is how I speak all the time but because to me I still feel like I'm speaking in my natural accent and sometimes I use my own dialect like if you watch my videos with subtitles ever you will realize the English subtitles are it's just I'm just squeezing on my sponge it's just never really accurate so I know that I don't speak like the perfect American accent ish I guess but sometimes people like I'm not, I love your accent under my comments and then some people just think I'm American I really like this sponge now, I can't say go out and buy this sponge because it was best sponge because like I don't use sponges that often but I've been using this sponge every day well not every day but every time I've used my makeup I've done my makeup since I've gotten this this sponge I've used this sponge for my concealer to like go over my foundation I just like it like it's soft but it's still firm enough that it just doesn't soak up product and I think it's nice it's a really good find from in the drugstore yeah, at Boots actually it's a number seven sponge so yeah the coverage under my eyes very it's not even it's not even like brighter but like I say I'm doing a school makeup routine-esque look like if I want those people to wear makeup every day like it's like how people just do bronzer or like mascara and color today negative negative because my teeth look so white oh my gosh I don't use teeth white now I just use Colgate and floss and Listerine but yup I'm gonna serve my under eye with some powder did you hear how I said that powder that is how I talk with son people with them nonsense I don't know nothing anyways so the reason I'm recording today is just so I could have content on my channel all the time trying to balance like okay this is not working pour the, the, the packaging clearly says pour powder here I need to read instructions, buddy. And let me tell you something. Y'all know that candid powder that I talked about all the time? That one by Revlon that I talked about often? Did this just... I don't like what that did just now. This Revlon candid powder that I use all the time and talk about the only bad thing that it has flashback. That was a lie. You know, I throw away one of my NYX concealer. I remember loving that concealer under my eye and blah, blah, blah. But because I hadn't really used it that much, I was like, well, oh no, it's orange. It oxidized. I can't use this concealer anymore. And then I used a concealer the other day that I use all the time. And my under eye was yellow. was like orange at the end of the day. Like, or, like orange. I know y'all say orange. I say orange. And I realized it was a powder. So the powder oxidizes. So it's it's no longer a contender for one of my favorite powders. And then the powder I'm using right now is one of my e.l.f. One that I tried recently in a um not full piece of e.l.f. but a um a testing e.l.f. makeup video. And it's it's I I guess it's a little yeah, it looks really light, but it actually like really dark in the under eye. Right? Kind of so okay. My makeup today ain't gonna be a hundred guys, cause even under this eye, is that like the product already done swept away from underneath there already? Like, do you see that? Like, it all look this bad on this eye, but what's what's happened over here? I don't. Anyways, just gonna roll with the punches and keep it Kelly rolling, okay? I'm using the eyeshadow palette that I've been holding. This one, it's by Profusion. I've never tried Profusion before, but I saw it at my TJ, my TK TK Max. I was like three pound ninety nine. I say I know so much people talk like really good things about it. So I say let me try it. And the color scheme seemed like a really good everyday palette color scheme, which I don't really have in my collection. Kid you not. I want going straight with indulge. You know, I just all over the lid one time for the one time. I think I'm gonna do that just because indulge is the spot on brown one here. Like it's a very deep crease color to go in with, but. Usually I'll go with this shade and then this one, but I feel like this shade all over the eye by itself would be pretty. Not be pretty, but get the job done. Ooh, that has some. Okay. Well. All right, profusion. I see. I was talking about the voice, right? Yeah. I didn't know the voice so back. Like, I missed two seasons. And I was like, Carrie, so you used to do voice reactions. And then I looked to some of like the older seasons just because I figured it would be better to react to the fresh stuff. And I was like, you ain't got a body here that impressed me. I'm unimpressed. Unimpressed! First of all, when Adam did the whole thing with DeAndre and um, what a girl knows was 
some other girl that didn't win I was like, you know what, Adam needs to go. And then I, and then I checked, and he's gone. I was like, mm. Anyways, can I stop? But uh, yeah, I listened to some of the, the um the voice stuff, the voice audition, and I was like, I'm not really impressed. And I don't know it's because the people can't sing. Well, obviously, the people could sing. It's just like, oh, it's just like, I just, I'm not really impressed by singles anymore like that. And I think it's because I sing myself. So it's like, I could do that. I could do that. So I have a case study that I need to work on for my politics class. So, yup. I have been doing this brown in my crease for a long time. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. That's usually all I would do. I need to get some more, some, um, some eyeshadow brushes. That's what I actually need because I've been struggling with what I have for my eyeshadow collection right now. I think I left my blending brushes at home when I went home for Christmas. But anyways, I only tried one shadow with the pigment and this is nice. Um, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer just because this bronzer, if I remember, was very, is, is very natural. It's not, it's not if I remember because I've actually been using that product. Like that product I really like. But if you know me, I, I just love bronzers. So I switch up bronzers very often and very frequently. Very often and frequently is the same thing. Okay, stop trying to be smart. Anyways. So like you see what I mean where you can already see the depth is coming through underneath and even over here you can see it as well. So, so I want to just try like color correcting to see if that helps. My face looks so flat and I think because that concealer was one, a really natural shade and then that powder darkened up my under eye. So I don't know what this video is going to actually be. I was going to say like a school makeup routine but I wouldn't want you guys to like emulate any other thing that I've done today. Now this bronzer is actually like a bronzer bronzer, like it just adds warmth, there's no like contour properties within this bronzer, which is one thing I will say. So since this is no longer a school time routine, I'm going to add a little bit more um, bronzer. This is my Technic bronzer, which is one of my favorite bronzers actually, I have not used it in a while, because the store that I used to buy it from is no longer there. So it's like, I don't want it to finish and then I don't have it. I probably actually really need it. You know what I'm saying? I just straight up put it in my hair just now. Like a mumu. Mumu is what we would say for idiot in my country. In my territory, sorry. So it's a mumu. You are mumu, it's like you are idiot, you know? Cultural fact of the day. <laughs> Stop carries. Oh my god, I did some really weird and like questionable things. I'm just like, why do people even watch my YouTube page? I don't really like the way this face is looking, to be all the way honest with you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I'll put some primer water on my face just to kind of melt the look a little bit. Random thing I was saying myself, telling myself the other day, I was like, you know what, carries. I wear backpacks, I love backpacks. That's the kind of person my girl I am. I like, I really like backpacks. But like, you know what, if I get into the workforce, you know, I need to probably, wow, I've really been using this. Okay. I really need to like, you know, start, start what carries, start getting into handbags. Correct. That's what I meant. And that is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, I need to get some handbags and being, you know, start looking like an adult. However, comma. I started looking around at like bags and I started of course at TJ, TJ Maxx, like TK Maxx, just to like really see like discounted bag prices and I saw this really nice bag by a brand I didn't even know it was like a brand. It was called Asperal of London, of London, England, I think. That's the name. And the bag was discounted. I was like, oh my god, yes, this bag is probably with, like a nice navy blue red line inside. And it was 250 pounds in tk max which is like 60 percent discount or 50 percent and i was like are you kidding me i said no sir as much as i want like i want like nice luxurious looking handbags because like, i like handbags it's like i don't really have much clothes that look handbag appropriate like I, I wear jeans every day all day but if i go to work i gotta start wearing dresses and you know to be the coat but $250 for a handbag and then there's like this Ralph Lauren one that was like pretty cute but it was like 74 pounds I was like that maybe I might you know save up and get 
but i don't know so if anybody's watching this who knows me or you know somebody that i know tell them for graduation i would like a nice luxurious bag does it have to be designer or luxurious looking enough that looks young enough but still professional enough you know, and when I get my first like bag that I really love, I'll do a what's in my bag because my bag is always prepped with stuff. Like I have handbags, I don't have handbags, I have like one bag, it's my mom's, I stole it. Actually no, she gives it to me while I'm at home so that I can use. And my bag always has in everything, gum, hand sanitizer, antibacterial wipes, a snack. It is having the stuff, okay, at all, all times, okay. I forget I am putting a little color underneath my lower lash line, white hair bow, color that same indulge color. I really bought this palette mostly for these three shades here. Cause like my everyday colors are these three and the other shimmers are really nice. So what you gonna do now? Put a little blush. I am hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet, it's after 12. And I really shouldn't be doing that because I had the world's worst gas pains for the last week. Like I did a hair video and I was like, oh, ew. Like to get these braids. And I was just in so much pain. Anyways, drink your tea. Caribbean moms everywhere. Like, yes. Oh, look at that little blush. You see blush a little. This, this blush is saving. I don't really, I know I used to like blush. But once I had... Is it, it's not that I didn't like blush, but I just couldn't really find the right tones for me. Like, I really wish my under eyes were just slightly brighter. So what are you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that hunch? All that hunch? All that hunch? All that hunch? I feel like I need more bronzer. I'm gonna get to see him! Can I stop being a weirdo? Oh my gosh. Better. This is slightly better. Better, better, better is one day in your oh, sorry. And I'm using some white charcoal mattifying because I haven't used this in years. This might be expired. Am I gonna use it? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know where I was. I just had a call from Tesco. <laughs> I know in the middle of the video, so I don't know where I was specifically specifically um yeah i just said my face i'm going to do mascara and instead of a black mascara i've actually been liking the way brown mascara looks specifically for like an everyday look so i'm gonna use a brown mascara no i don't really like mascara i don't really wear mascara feel like you're losing your sh see it looks black anyway so it's like this is the last sensation of a mas from, from mascara, from Maybelline. Now I can see my arm fat. I don't care because I didn't want to shot. Actually, I do care, but oh well. I have arm fat. Deal with it. Actually, you know what? Forget this. Double that up with a Lash Princess mascara. I haven't used... I used to use the green one the most, but I remember I used to initially love the, the purple one. So let's use this a little to see if that adds a little bit of something. Actually, no, this one is a separating mascara as well, but man. Well, actually, no, I take it back. It's doing something. I mean, y'all might not see it, but I will see it. And that's what matters to me, so I, I can't put on mascara without getting it on my lash line. Like, man, how old am I? A toddler? A fetus? An egg, bro? An egg? Can you see you annoying me? You're the scum between my toes. You make me vomit. I didn't put in a corner highlight. Ugh. You are stupid. You see how the mascara kind of save it? This eye is doing something cute, don't I? Anyways, I'm gonna put it shade Havana Clara and in the inner corner highlight. I've been able to get to the gym lately because just the way life has been going. I feel like my face looks like extremely flat and i think it's because i don't have like the dimension in my lower lash line hence why i want more and more bronzer to like try to like give me some kind of definition but um i think it'll just be like you know you win some you lose some maybe when i put on my glasses it might not be that bad i'm gonna put on my lip gloss right now i have a lip balm already but i'm gonna put on a little lip liner just because i don't have a prominent 
Dacklin around my lip to like really define my lips. So usually when I put on a lip gloss or anything, the shape of my lip is lost. So I just take a natural lip liner. This is in the shade. This is the lip liner in the shade Coco. <laughs> and yeah, it's a very natural brown. It's like LA colors. Yeah, I didn't put any highlighter today. Do you like that, Mr. Dillhammer? Do you like that, Mr. Dillham? <laughs> what are you going to do with you? I got the wrong brush. That's how the spray really got my face matching up. Because usually my face would be still shiny. But that's what I wanted today. I wanted to be using new products and thing. That's what you get. I represent the real life of makeup. You think you know what you're doing. And then one day just things don't really pan out the way you want. But I got two lip glosses that I could play around with. If you do like a walk. For me, a lip gloss is a perfect everyday. Like a lip liner and lip gloss. Because it's the easiest thing to touch up. You don't have to worry about it peeling. Just keep adding and piling on and piling on. Um, I don't know which color I'm going to really do today. I really love the way this color looked. Um, but I'm going to try this one because this one might be a bit more brown. Um, yeah, but I love new lip glosses. And it's one of those things that if you want to get me like a makeup related gift, get me like some nude, peachy nude, brownish, pinkish nude lip glosses. And yeah, I look like a bug. I can, I mean, technically I could see like normal anyway. I don't see a big difference like when I'm walk, I'm seeing hair, but it's like in the distance. I'll be like, oh my God, is that man showering? Like, I feel like I have bionic eyes. So this is it, the look finished with my glasses on and everything. Um, I was really like concerned about my under eye because I prefer to have a brighter under eye. But when I have on glasses, it's not really that bad. You don't really notice it that much. I guess with my glasses, like, balance it out. But this is, like, the level of makeup that I would wear for school if I was, like... I was going to say if I was going to school. But, like I said, I'm a really casual day today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm very chatty. Very, like, off the hinges. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, you guys have been watching Carrie TV. Until next time.